In today's episode, I'll be building the Project Zero Cables desk. It was a desk that was done in a video by Linus Tech Tips, where they build a desk and try to eradicate all the cables by running them through the legs of the desk and up underneath the desk. I didn't eradicate as many cables or go as far as they did, but my friend really liked the build and he liked the built-in USB hub, so he asked me to build this desk for him. For this build, they used 1 inch birch plywood. I was unable to find it in my area, so I ended up picking up two half inch sheets and laminating them together or gluing them together. Once the glue up was done, it was time to break the plywood down into the rough size of the desk. So I'll start off by cutting it down with my circular saw, and then I'll do the rips on my table saw now that it's a little more manageable. Now I'll cut at least an inch off of every side because it'll give me a better glue up line. Now I'll mark out the shape of the desk using the bottom of a five gallon bucket and the bottom of a one gallon bucket. I did the bigger curves at the front of the desk because you'll be needing to reach around or move around those corners and the smaller tighter curves with the one gallon bucket at the back of the desk because you'll want that desk real estate so it won't be as big of a curve or as much cut off of the desk. Now I'll be using my bandsaw to rough cut all the curves of the desk. I would actually recommend not doing this and just using something like a jigsaw, but my jigsaw is broken, so I use this instead. Now I'll be cleaning up all the curves of the desk using a router. I'll be using a flush trim bit in this instance because it's my newest, uh, sharpest bit, although it's not actually using the flush trim aspect of the bit, but you'll see how the flush trim bit gets used later on in the build. Now I'll start planning the layout for the legs and the USB hub and planning how I will mount the USB hub. Now I'm going to take the USB hub apart so that I can remove the mounting brackets because I'm going to need to mount those inside the desk. I'm also going to trim the faceplate down so that it's easier to mount in the face of the desk. Once it's cut down to size, I'll drill a hole in the face on each side and then do like a little countersink so that I can screw it in with little screws. Now I'm going to router out the space where the USB hub will sit inside the desk. I'm going to be adding a skirt around the entire desk, so right here I'm marking out where it'll need to be cut, but this piece will also need to be notched for the USB hub. Since I can pick up and move around the piece of the skirt, I'm going to use a quarter inch dado blade to do the notch instead of a router. Here I'm marking out where I will need to mount the brackets that will hold the USB hub. Thank you. 
And now I'll use a two-part epoxy to mount the brackets in place. Now I'm going to rip down some more pieces of plywood so I can finish installing the skirt all the way around the desk. I need to create a few notches in some of the pieces of the skirt to make room for the legs. And I actually forgot to do this on the front piece of the skirt, and so I'm going to have to go back and chisel that out. Now we're back to that flush trim bit and I'm using it to trim the skirts flush to the top of the desk. I'll be using a round over bit to round over the top and bottom of the desk, probably just about an eighth of an inch round over. And then I'll be chiseling out for the face of the USB hub. Now I'll be giving the top of the desk a once over with 220 grit sandpaper prior to applying the stain. And the stain I'll be using is this ferrothane wood stain which is carbon gray. I'll be applying the stain with a rag, and then once it's done, it's a bit darker than I wanted it, so I'll come back with a rag with paint thinner on it, and I'll wipe it all down, and that'll lighten it up and reveal a lot more of the wood grain. I forgot to do a couple cable management holes prior to doing the stain, but no big deal, I'll take care of them now before it gets any further. For the top coat, I'll be using Verathane's water-based polyurethane in a crystal matte finish. And if you have any questions about the products, I'll have them linked in the description below. Now I'm going to mark out and install some threaded inserts to make it easier to install and uninstall the legs. The tape around the drill bit is just to help me determine the depth that I'm drilling into the desk. I'll be applying a couple drops of two-part epoxy to each one of the threaded inserts and this is just to make sure that they stay in place and don't come unscrewed when you're installing or uninstalling the legs. Now I'll pre-drill the holes and install the faceplate. The last thing I'd like to point out for this build is that I routered some small slots underneath the legs of the desk and next to them to run some of the wires through. I also drilled holes in the bottom and the side top of the leg and that's also to run wires up and through that to hide a lot of the wires. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking it and subscribing to the channel. I'm starting to creep up towards that 10,000 subscriber mark and I'd love to hit it by the end of the year. If you're into gaming, Check out my buddy GrandChamp01's Twitch account. He's the one that had me build this desk and gave me the idea for it in the first place. Also, if you've never checked out my channel before, I'm going to put a link to my woodworking playlist up in the upper right hand corner. If you enjoyed this video, 
You may also enjoy some other videos in that playlist. And as always, thanks for watching.